What do we have on the docket, Billy? Well, you know what I want to tell you too. What's is up? Like, all right, uh, we were kind of like watching like some clips before the show. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Katz, who were Rivera <sighs> and Gavin McGinnis. Oh. You have a like a whole new like perspective on this. Yeah. All right. So for all of our ONA fans that have subscribed to our channel since we did that last uh, that last bit, if you will, you yeah. guys know what we're talking about probably. So Gavin McInnes and Ryan have gotten into an argument over how much he should be paid or shouldn't be paid. And listening to Ryan talk, I, my heart goes out to this man. I understand his value. So he's talking about how he basically had to learn all this expansive knowledge on like audio production, yeah. all the stuff that I'm just talking about right now, and how he feels he should be more valuable and get his raises and how they had like a handshake deal before they started about what he would be worth and he would get like part ownership in the company. Gavin hasn't made good on this and he feels like he's being underpaid. And I have to say he is. Gavin McGinnis, I love him, man. He's a great dude. But on this one, you're wrong, buddy, 100%. What? I hope that you understand the value of that, man. Not only do you have a guy who's a good friend who also has camera chops and is funny, he does impressions, genuine sense of humor and acumen for being on a radio show, but he also has the, the self-starterishness to put himself through all that, learn the things that needed to be learned and took your, your program to a whole new level. So let's put it like this. If you want to save money by not paying him, you're not. He's going to walk out the door. You're going to have to hire someone else who's going to request far more money than he is, and they're not going to have the talent or the chops to sit next to you and do the show at the same caliber that you're used to. Don't make that mistake, man. Pay him. That pay him yeah. Pay him and say thank you. That guy's killing him. I promise you. It's a lot harder than you realize, man. Their relationship is so dynamic, too. Mm -hmm. Like, the way that those two are together in a room together is, like, really funny. This was, um, how it even got brought up is I think that Ryan's wife told him that they need to be making more money because I sure. guess he was working a lot. I guess he was working around the clock. There's and no I, doubt he's yeah. killing himself. And I guess <laughs> I guess when he had brought it up to him, I guess I guess the figure I I, I don't know if he if he just like spat it out or Gavin said give him a number, mm -hmm. but he said a hundred grand a year, and I guess Gavin was like like stop shut up shut the fuck up it's not happening like, like and it was like bad and i think he really took that to heart well not for nothing if His you're only, gonna have him producing your yeah. show full time that's mm -hmm. not even remotely an unreasonable number the only it's not this was the only um the only like and believe me i assure you i i know how important anthony Ryan was paying dave landau Ryan. that and he wasn't producing he, he was the show a co -host. yeah he was just he a co-host so now you have a guy who's a co-host and an audio tech at the same. It's two jobs in one. You're paying Absolutely. a talent and a technical um, advisor, if you will. This was the only thing that that kind of made sense to me, like that that on for Gavin's. Like, I try to be biased, right? No, no, no. Tell me both yeah. sides. What do you the, think? The only thing that made sense to me is Gavin's like. How many hours a work? How, how many hours a week do you work? And Gavin said, or I'm um, Ryan said about twenty. So he's only working twenty hours a week to be making a hundred grand. Dude, that doesn't mean shit. Like, got it. The talent. The talent. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Everything, and I and I completely understand that. But I I guess that's the only thing. So what? So if you hire someone else, they're going to be working more hours. No, probably not. So, right? but they're going to request more salary, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. it's the market rate for that job. It just is what it is. It's yeah. an esoteric field. Not a lot of people can do it. And also, like I said, you have the combination of someone who's doing audio tech work, audio engineering, and the talent yeah. on top of that. That's yeah. a rare combination. Yeah. And it's a rare funny. combination, buddy. And he's funny. <laughs> he's hilarious. Yeah. He's fucking he really great. Is. And they have a real friendship and a relationship. Don't be cheap. Again, Anthony was paying Dave Landau 100 grand a year just to sit next to him. And by the way, they're the greatest comedy um, podcast duo of all time, in my yeah. opinion. Best yeah. ever. But it's not the point. The point is he didn't even have to do all that technical stuff. And also, he's saying he's only working 20 hours a week at the show in his room. Yeah. I guarantee you, just like I've had to do... I guarantee you there is countless unseen hours of troubleshooting, research, learning, reading, trial and error, running tests, all the shit in the background that none of you guys see, which I didn't even know existed until we started doing this. It is a colossal undertaking. Well, he hosts the live shows, too, and I think he was only getting paid $100. We've seen the yeah. live shows. Right now, they're here. Right now, they're in our city right oh, now. Oh, it was great it. the last time we went. Tour. We did the last one. I, I, I forgot whatever the name of it was, but um, the last one we went to, uh, Ryan hosted the whole thing. He dressed up like Trump. He did all that. Yeah. I think he only made $100 for that show. Oh, that was the other thing, too, when we were listening to it. He wanted the $100 stipend for when he was traveling, so he yeah. had like, money for like food on the plane or sure. whatever the fuck it was, yeah. and even that was a bad not for nothing, man. What's a hundred dollars? Gavin is the creator yeah. of Vice News. He's rich. He yeah. has money coming out of his fucking ears and asshole. Yeah. Give the guy a hundred dollars. If he asked me for a hundred dollars, I would give it to him just for asking. Even yeah. if he didn't tell me what it was for, it's a hundred dollars. That's not even a lot to me, and I don't make that much money. It's it might, nothing. It might be a hundred dollars. The new twenty. It might be really thanks Biden him that he's had him so cheap for so many years <laughs> that like he almost got privy to it, and now it's just give it. Why? No, I know. Believe me, I know. I, I, listen, I, 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 I'm a, 
I'm not some like, you know, step on everybody businessman no. where it would bother me. I'd go, yeah, you know what? I think you do. I, I'm believe me, I I have I'm empathetic towards that. I would completely give it as much. If you were Gavin, how would you feel? Genuinely. If I was, I don't know, how, how do you, how, see, I can only think, how, well, I think I would give him his money immediately. The, for the asking. Money. Yeah. But well, how about this? So would, you, would it occur to you to bump up his pay on your own without him even asking? Because yeah, for me, it would. Yeah, yeah man. Dude, honestly, I would, yeah. I would be happy to go to him and go, dude, we're making so much money right dude, now. Dude, look what we've, we've done yeah, together. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much, dude. Like Sensor TV is bringing in like new new subscribers every day. And You're a part of this. You've done great. I would be and a personal friend. To, but I don't know what it is to be Gavin McGinnis. Like the way well, his mindset works. If he's like, no if, one's you know, perfect. Yeah. He obviously has like a little bit of a cheap Absolutely. bent to him. Doesn't he openly admits he was talking about? He's like, you openly admit that you're a cheap Scott. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, yes, I am. So like he he knows that about himself. It's like, dude. So knowing that about yourself and understanding the situation that's around you, like, yeah. also it's a personal friend. Can't you bend a little bit here? Yeah. So, look, I'll give you guys a little bit of background information on Billy here and myself. We made a handshake deal that we go 50-50 right down the middle from start to finish. Does not Everything. matter what happens. Yeah. Costs and revenue. If we ever make money, it's 50-50. Whatever we buy, 50-50. And I trust this man 100%. We are not going to be Gavin and Ryan. That's yeah. not going to be a problem for us in general. What's so hard about that? If this thing blows up and we're making whatever, say if we start making like real money doing yeah. this, Millions. you think... Let's say let's say we make two million dollars in one year. You think I'm upset about taking my million? I need it to be one point five. Yeah. Do I really need that? I need to screw over one of my best friends, yeah. someone to help me go on this journey. I have loyalty. We have heart with each other. I'm gonna fucking undermine all that to keep a couple of extra bucks. Come on, what Gavin. Yeah, I know you're a good guy. I know Gavin's a good guy. This is a weird thing he's got going on here. We've seen this so many too with like bands and stuff like that. Like I, I he's gonna see, shit on me yeah, when he sees this. Yeah. Oh my god, could you imagine? You're more than welcome to come on the show. Yeah. Please come on. This is too bad. Come on, talk about it. Why not? Yeah, hundred percent. I would love to hear his take. He's a super rational and intelligent guy. So yeah. I don't think that I, this is not a hate moment on yeah. Gavin. I just think that he's a little bit off on this one. That's yeah. all. Yeah, he's something else, man. But you know, I just I I, I heard that, and it's funny because like a lot of people feel the same way we do. I was reading the comments, and Were it you? was one sided. And he tried, it was all Ryan. He tried to go on there. He tried to go on there and say, "Okay, so he's like, he's like, it's about fifty fifty. My about, ass. Like, no, no, <laughs> bullshit. I read the comments. It was not. It was one hundred percent. Give Ryan his money. <laughs> Even a uh, oh shit, hold on. let me fix that. I forgot. We had that Do post. Just press it. Yeah, we had that poster up for so long that the, the screensaver just turned. I forgot to actually do that before the show. But yeah, it's not 50 50 even remotely. I might have to put the password back in. Do you want to? I got you. Do you want to set up the. Uh, so it's not 50 50 even fucking remotely. But the weird thing was on the clip that Billy was showing me after Ryan was explaining his side, Gavin goes, You guys can see what's going on here. Like like he had him like dead to rights. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, we can see what's going on here. It's, it's you funny. cheap Scottish fuck. Yeah, it's, it's funny as. <laughs> Love you, Gavin. He knows. And as smart as he is, he knows, dude. You couldn't just, you know what I mean, turn around and, you know, look that cheap and, and, and expect people to be okay with it. Everybody knows. That kid has a likability to him, too, as well. You know what I mean?